Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Now before the video starts, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for the latest West Bromwich Albion content. Make sure you watch this video until the end and don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, follow all, all our social media links down below, including our editor's YouTube channel, which is the link is in the description. He's very close to 200 subscribers now, so... He's a fellow Baggies fan, go and help him out. Um, by the thumbnail, as you can see by the title, West Brom have signed Filip Kravinovic, and I'm super excited about this. Season-long loan uh, from Benfica, absolutely brilliant news. You know, we've got all three, um, you know, the trio who we all wanted, Dian Garner signing, uh, Pereira signing first, the fee was already agreed before the season um, even concluded. Then we had Dion Garner, who West Ham stupidly sold to us. And now Filip Kravinovic is back at West Brom on a season long loan, reunited with his. <laughs> you know, there's so much bromance between him and like um, Matthias Pereira. It's nice to see. Um, you can see that he's a fan's favourite. You can see that Slavin Bilic has been desperate to land his signature and he's finally done it. And I'm sure Slavin Bilic will be. You know, absolutely delighted with this one. Kravinovic is a player who Bilic loves. He absolutely loves him. Um, you know, you could tell the amount of press conferences he was having. He was telling everyone that he was hoping that he could get Kravinovic done. He was telling everyone that if he doesn't get it done, he'd be really disappointed. Um, but yeah, it, anyway, you were saying that. He really wanted to get this deal over the line. He has got it over the line. Kravinovic will join the squad. I'm sure he might be available for against Southampton. Hopefully, Bilic could change the formation now to a 4-4-2 or a 4-1-2-1-2, whatever he wants to do. But it just gives us that bit more of an option in midfield with the likes of Raheem Harper, Romain Sawyers, um... Jake Livermore, Conor Gallagher, you know, and rightly so, because I do believe that a few players in the team at the minute in the midfield do need, a, you know, a bit of kick up the up the backside and they need a bit of competition. Now, for me, I'm delighted with this one. Guys, comment in the comment section what you think of Kravinovic coming back. Like I say, if we would have been told that we'd have had Dion Grana, Pereira and Kravinovic back at the start of the transfer window, we've, we would have absolutely snatched you know, everyone's hand off for it. So credit to Luke Dowling for getting all these free deals over the line. Um, I'm sure that Carl M. Grant is still ongoing um, and hopefully there'll be more development with that soon. Yeah, hopefully Kravinovic can come into the starting eleven against Southampton. You know, he's, he was absolutely brilliant in the cup games for us against Premier League opposition. When we played the likes of West Ham, I thought he was outstanding. I thought he had a pretty slow start to the season, I'm not going to lie. You know, he he got better and better as the season went on. Maybe it was just, you know, obviously a confidence thing, adjusting to the English lead. Maybe that was what it was. Um, but this deal has been, took longer than I expected it to. I expected us to have this done weeks ago. But obviously with Benfica undeciding whether to add an obligation to buy in there, it was always a difficult deal to persuade and to persuade them and get done. But now it's done, I'm absolutely delighted. Guys, if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to like, comment, sub comment, subscribe, and welcome to West Bromwich Albion, Philip Kravinovich.